Fascism is anti-worker. Fascism is the enemy of the working class. Fascism is a political ideology. Fascism is characterized by fervent nationalism, extreme authoritarianism, and intense collectivism. Various other factors also define fascism, but these are the main ones. Fascism introduces an autocrat, an unelected, dictatorial leader. The first message of fascism is that the workers are too dumb to govern themselves. The workers are too dumb to choose their own leader. That is the first fascist message. Fascism oppresses the worker. Fascism deprives the worker of his freedoms and his rights. Freedom of speech, freedom of the press, freedom of protest. Fascism destroys these things. In a fascist society, workers are not free. In a fascist society, workers do not have rights. Fascism suspends the rule of law. Fascism is characterized by an overbearing brutal state which has no regard for personal rights or consistent conduct. The rights of the worker become conditional. Conditional on total obedience. Because fascism deprives the worker of the most basic human capacity. The capacity for thought. Unquestioning support, thoughtless loyalty, mindless obedience. Fascism demands these things. It encourages them through censorship and indoctrination, brutality and depravity. Fascism seeks to deprive the worker of their most basic human capacity, their capacity for thought. Fascism may liberate you from being a mindless cog in the business, but they will find you an even more brutal position as a mindless cog in the state. If you are lucky, you will be spared the production line. You will receive the honour of serving as cannon fodder in a pointless war. You will be used as a meat shield in an unjustified and unnecessary conflict. That is how fascism treats working people, as cannon fodder. Fascism loves war and violence. Fascism uses working people as cannon fodder in service of its deranged nationalistic ambitions. Fascism has a vision for the ordinary person, a vision of mindless obedience and cannon fodder. People are pawns, people are expendable. That is the fascist message. Fascism attempts to distract the worker from their class interests with nationalism. Fascism distracts workers with fear-mongering and scapegoating. Fascism views workers as simply a means to an end, a cog in the machine that is the state, nothing more, pawns to be sacrificed. The ideal citizen is mindlessly obedient, eager cannon fodder, a willing meat shield. That is the fascist vision, that is the future that fascism represents for the working class. That is the future that fascism represents for everyone. A cruel and brutal society, a harsh and depraved society, an amoral and thoughtless society. Fascism is anti-worker. Fascism is anti-humanity. Fascism is the enemy. Fascism pretends to be the friend of the worker. The reality is that fascism threatens the interests of the worker in every regard. Fascism is anti-worker.